Hi, this is Jacob Macias again with CableWholesale.com. Today I'm going to be going over a solution for running cables in walls, any AV cables, audio video cables you might want to run. We've got a perfect solution for you. This is called our EZ Pool Line. Now this is color coded based on the type of cable you would like to run. We have green designation for the VGA. This has VGA plus 3.5 with audio. The orange is going to be RCA and BNC connections. RCA being component red, green, blue, or composite red, white, yellow. Um, and then to round it out, we've got the yellow one designation for the digital connections. This is for your DVI, HDMI, and DVI with 3.5 millimeter audio on it. Now, the reason these are better for pulling in the wall is one, it's a much more sturdy cable. It's built for being pulled in the wall. It's going to withstand those pressures that you're going to put on it during the pull, and it won't break. Another really good feature about this cable is that it comes with a pulling eye. Now, each of these trunk lines or the runner cables has a pulling cap on it. This pulling cap gets attached to your fishing line. Fishing line gets pulled in the wall and you pull the cable out with it. When you're ready to terminate, you just unscrew the fishing line or the uh, pulling cap and you're ready to go and terminate the cable. Now, when you're looking at the terminations, we have different variations determining what type of connection you would like to do. Now, for instance, if you want to maybe change your cable out in the future, in the same family, you can do that using one of these face plates. Um, let's say you ran a BNC cable line and you have BNC connections on it, but later on you need to do component or you need to do composite. You can use one of these face plates, pop off the other cables, put on your new connections, and you're ready to go with that cable. Now to connect it, it's very easy. All you do is line up the arrows right here, plug it in, and screw it down. When you screw it down, it makes a good connection and you're ready to go. Now, like I said, this is the wall plate version of this one. You also have these wall plate versions, which is a termination type. You would plug this one in. This particular one is a Decora. You plug this one in into Decora, terminate it to the cable, and what you have is three B and Cs on this one. Um, so you terminate a B and C cable directly from the wall to your device using your own B and C cables. Um, that's a second connection. The third connection is flying leaves. Now these come in various sizes from one foot up to 15 feet. It depends on the different type of cable, so check it out on our website. Um, these ones get attached directly to the cable and it creates a cable that way. So you're ready to go with a cable. Now these come in plenum and non-plenum versions for running in plenum air spaces. Another great solution for this product is that it will fit in a three quarter inch conduit. Now, some of you installers know that you've ran into problems when you're running a VGA cable in a pre-existing conduit that's three quarter inch size, you're not gonna fit that cable. Your only other option was to cut this off and re-terminate yourself. You don't have to do that anymore. That's really messy and time consuming. So put this in its place. It'll fit through three quarter, no problem. You're good to go. Now to sum up, what you need to do is determine what type of cable you would like to run, whether it be RCA, VGA, DVI. Pick the color that corresponds to its cable type. Choose your runner cable, get the, the runner or the trunk cable line ran. Then choose your termination, whether it be flying lead or one of the two various uh, face plates that we have, and you're good to go. Now, if I haven't addressed any of your concerns in, in this video, then please feel free to comment in the comment section below. We'll be actively watching that and responding. Follow us on, on Twitter and we'll be updating you of future videos. And if you have any other videos you might want to see, check us out on Facebook and post your comments there. And as always, thanks for joining. This is Jacob.